Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim My name is Zed Ali al Sagof, and welcome to Digital Drawing for LIT, Learning, Innovation and Teaching. And today's topic is the wisdom of stick figures. Now let's, I'm going to look back now to 2018. In 2018, I attended a conference at IIUM, which is the International Islamic University of Malaysia, which I'm also an alumni. And the, the topic of this conference was the national education philosophy. And one of the topics they discussed was the Minister of, the, Minister of Education. They identified 16 core or noble values 30 years ago that are desirable to be inculcated and developed in Malaysia. They still use them, but it's kind of, it needs to be revived. The values are drawn from, the, those values or the, those values actually drawn from various religions, traditions, and norms of Malaysian society that, were, that are within the context of Ruku Nagara, Ruku Nagara, which is the national ideology of Malaysia. Uh, so it was very inspiring. So when I went to the conference and I listened to the talk, what kind of shocked me was, this is the slide that was presented when they were talking about the 16 core values. Now, if you look at the slide, I mean, it's okay, but then when I thought about it, the way they present this, that they, they haven't even separated. It's like sixteen values in, in kind of commas, and it was it was presented in such a way that it was the slide itself. The presenter was brilliant. I'm not going to mention talk about the presenter. He was brilliant. He, the way he talked, but the way he presented the sixteen core values was like, I mean, it must be a better way to do this. So what I decided to do was I drew it actually. I I, I started then, but then over time I finished drawing it, and you can see here. I have drawn the 16 core values, and I decided to use stick figures. Let's just look at some of them. Compassion, self-reliance, eh? humility. And I tried to draw uh, scenarios re related to the different core values, like love, eh? justice, freedom, courage. And you can see here, when I drew them, uh, I used stick figures. I used... Uh, Colors, I didn't use racial colors because one thing you want to, one of the things, the wisdom of using stick figures is you want to avoid religious bias, you want to avoid uh, gender bias, you want to avoid racial bias. So I thought if I were to draw cartoons, although I'm not so good at it, but I can still draw like open, open characters and so on, people will find a context and they will see, they will actually maybe see it as stereotyping. So instead to avoid all that, I used stick figures. And the second thing I did was, I chose not to have faces on my stick figures, so it would not be in based on, so you can actually actually tell whether what gender it was. And also, I decided to use the colors of Malaysia, which is uh, yellowish, blue, white, and red, or, or yeah. So if you notice that all the characters have different colors, so we would not know because if you had colors like black, white, brown, yellow, for example we might associate with race. To avoid that, I chose colors based on national. So you can't actually identify, look at honesty, you see yellow and red. You can't really identify, oh, this one is maybe Malay, this one is Chinese, maybe this one is Indian. So I tried to avoid all that uh, and see how that worked. Because once you get into this drawing, sometimes drawings can be very dangerous because it, it can g give a sense of gender bias, religious bias, and racial bias. You want to avoid all that. So that's one of the powers of stick figures. can avoid that, especially if you manage the colors and you manage the stick figures. That's why the reason I'm saying that is actually some wisdom to use stick figures when you want to teach to avoid such situations that I've just discussed. So in talking about drawing them, let's look at uh, some examples. I've shown this slide before in my pre or this uh, drawing before. Let me just resize it a bit. Huh? So you can see here, so different kind of stick figures that you can draw. And that's up to you, okay? But what is interesting I want to share with you, whatever stick for you, is the proportion of the head compared to the body, yeah? So usually, let me just hide this, okay? Usually, a stick figure will have, the head will be one-third or one-fourth of the full length or height of, of the, the figure. And it's not like a human being. Human being is like the head is one-seventh of the size. And if you look at superhero cartoons, it's like one to eight. Usually the head is quite small in super, superhero characters. It's more like the body there. It's all about the body size and, you know, not so much about the brain, but about the mozzie and muscle and power and so on. But stick figures usually is one-third or one-fourth. So I, I like one-third. So let me just show you an example. Huh? Let me just draw an example. So I'm going to draw one here. I just draw the... Well, let me just choose a bit. The pen size is not so... Why is it like that, huh? I'll make it a bit thicker. i make it a six. Okay. So let's draw here. So I draw the here. Hey, let's choose another color. Let's choose black. Okay, so I draw the head again. Remember, using the predictive stroke, get a nice 
So I just see the body is one, another one third. Okay, okay, that's not so bad. Let's just do it again. It's just like to be nice. It's just to indicate, okay? And then you have the, the legs, one third again. Uh, this is just an example, huh? If you want to have this, this, okay? If you want to have feet, this is not this is just an example, huh? And then you want to have arms, I'm just going to make you a bit angry here. Uh, okay? So usually, you see that thick figures are not naturally proportionate, but usually, they can, if you want to have eyes, you can have eyes here, and you can become very angry. Hmm. Uh, okay, then ding, ding. And you can, if you want to have like emotion, you can have, let's do I'll just lines here so they can make it just, uh, yeah. He's kind of extremely angry now, huh? And then I'm going to use, okay. Okay. Now, the proportion is very important. You see, see the head is one third of the full length. Now, sometimes I just want to show you how different it might look. If I were to draw not proportion, the head is okay, and then I show a long body. And then the arms, it will look very funny, right? <laughs> but you can still have it, but people will not find it very cool. Or you can have the opposite. You have this one in a small body and very long legs. So you see the difference of the look and feel. But usually people, uh, when it comes to stick figures, one third is very a good practice. Or you can do one fourth, but I usually prefer one third. And this is just an example for you to draw stick figures. And now you know that actually there is some wisdom to use stick figures in your teaching and whether you're drawing them or using them. Uh, but if you can draw them, you can customize them and specialize them to your own style. But it's very important. Huh? So just to end it. And also coloring is also very important, which we'll talk about later in, in, in another topic. But coloring is extremely important because you must, as I said, in countries like Malaysia, which is multicultural, you have racial issues, you have gender issues, and you have religious issues. So you need to be careful. Huh? But as I said, you can always color them. So yeah, let me just show you. Yeah, you can color, yeah, for example. So that's it. Uh, we have covered that. And this is basically, we have covered what I've just uh, shown you. And what have we covered? We have covered the, the, ding, ding, ding. I'll hide this one. And then the last one is to hide this one. We have covered the wisdom of stick figures. So I hope next time either you draw them or use them. The power of stick figures. Sometimes avoid using cartoons if you have religious issues. We have gender issues and we have um, uh, racial issues. It's sometimes good to avoid these kind of situations if you, unless you want to have them to create a, a scenario. But in cultures like Malaysia, which is multicultural, multiracial, uh, multi-religious, and so on, it's good to be a bit careful now because at the end of the day, you want to solve the problem. You don't want to create new problems. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much.